Hey guys, so today I'm doing things that you can just do in the morning really fast or do the night before to help you for your hair in the future. So just wanted to make this because I feel like I've gotten a lot of good ways to like do your hair really quick or just like cute ways to do it for school. So we're just gonna jump in. There's just a bunch of like random ideas. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so this is my hair. I got out of the shower this morning and th it's now dry. So it's kind of like this, um, kind of wavy. It's, I can't decide if it's cute or not. Just gonna say, I don't know if I love it or not. So, um, but this is what it looks like. So obviously one of my first tips is shower at night. Like if you shower in the morning, I feel so bad for you. So I shower at night, obviously, but sometimes when I'm washing my hair, I shower way earlier in the night. Like, earlier in the night, I mean by like 4 o'clock. So that by like 8 o'clock, my hair's all the way dry, and I don't have to blow dry it because that's like double duty heat, you know, and I want to keep my hair good somehow. So then after that, I will, after it's dry, I will either curl it or straighten it. So one of the best ways is to just sleep on it. <sighs> I always sleep on my strained hair and I always sleep on my curled hair, so both of these work for me. But today for the ones I'm going to show you, I'm going to first straighten my hair. So we are going to start with that. And my hair, straightening it takes like 10 minutes. Straightening is really easy because it doesn't have to be super perfect and precise. Just section off your hair. I like to do mine in three sections. So section it off, put a bun on top of your head obviously. And then go to town with straightening it. And I'm gonna play some music, but it's just so simple. So this is really just like the easiest way to have your hair done, because straightening takes so little time. It's kind of hard because this viewfinder is actually kind of far away. So I kind of feel like I'm gonna burn myself, but it's okay. I just grab it and I go over it twice because my chunks are kind of big. Like you'll notice if I have a smaller chunk, I'll just do it once because this is a really hot straightener. It's at 450 degrees. Do it for you, it's a dirty work. do it. Then once you get to this point, you're gonna want to put in your part, because obviously if you straighten on the opposite side, you're gonna have problems. And when you get to the top, you're gonna want to do it like right at the root of your hair, so that it's not like kinky, because um, you're straightening your hair, not kinking it. Okay, and then you're just gonna do the other side, and you're almost done. And then I've literally been doing this for seven minutes. I thought it took longer. And my camera's about to die, so I'm trying to do this a little bit quicker. This makes my hair look so long on this camera, like it just like doesn't end. But trust me, it does. So then this is what my hair looks like after. So then you just turn on your straightener, and you're done. Okay. Now if you're like me, you're going to have to go and collect all the hair that just fell out. Which is a lot, and now it's all over my body. So now your hair is straightened. This is a great way just to like, um, touch up in the morning. Because if you just touch up your straight hair, it takes literally like a minute. So this is an awesome way to just do your hair. And now I need to turn this music off. So, now I've got some super awesome like, buns and ways to show you how to do your hair. So one of my favorite buns that I just figured out, if you guys follow Aspen Over, you know she does this kind of bun. So all you're going to do is... I have to flip over to get my hair like on the top of my head. So you're just gonna put your hair on top of your head like this. Kind of comb it all out and go down. And then collect it and like smooth out the edges and sides and stuff. Basically just gather it into a gather it into a ponytail on top of your head. Okay, so it's on top of your head like this. You are going to twist it. I like to twist towards the right. So as you're twisting it, you don't want it too tight, you don't want it to like scrunch up, you know? Then you're just gonna go wrap it around itself like this, stick your fingers through it, and pull this part through the top. Now this literally takes a couple of tries to get it to work, and sometimes it works better than other times. So like then I'll just go through and I'll just fix it up, but like it works better sometimes than it does others. So like right now it's not very strong, but like I've had ones that are super strong and this is literally just so easy if you want to get your hair out of your face if you're like doing a test, but you don't have a hair tie because that's the most annoying moment ever. So this one's super easy and I really like my hair in a messy bun and you can just like pull out some pieces, make it look more fun, you know? Super awesome. You ha do have to redo it every once in a while because it will fall out, but I mean it's so easy it literally isn't a big deal. 
So my second one is kind of like this, but just more secure. So again, on top of your head in a high ponytail position. Okay, are you ready? We're going to do the exact same thing. Twist it, not too tight because it'll make it look bad. So barely twist it at all just so it kind of like stays together. Then you're going to wrap it around your hair again like this and just keep wrapping. But the reason why you don't want it too tight is because that's when it gets all like lopsidey and stuff and it doesn't look good. Then you're just going to pull this over and I'm going to get closer so you guys can see. And I'm just going to pull this bun out kind of messy and voila you have a super cute bun that takes no bobby pins and just one hair tie. I don't wear bobby pins. It gives me headaches like the flatness pushed up against my head gives me really bad headaches. So I try to know a ton of buns that don't require bobby pins because they're just a pain in the butt. And so this is definitely my favorite by far. It's kind, it's pretty stable. It's more stable than the last one. And it's just super awesome. I love it. If you want to make it even more stable, put a ponytail, put it in a ponytail on top of your head, then do it and then put another one. That makes it even more stable. So it's just a little piece of advice, you know? Another one that you can do is Hold on, it's like a jungle gym in here. Okay, did I turn this off? I did. Okay, it's really hot in here now too. So another one you can do is, again, on top of your head. You can always do these, like, not on top of your head. But I like doing my ones on top of my head. But you can go like this, put it in a ponytail. I guess if you're, like, really good at braiding, you can do this without it. But, like, on other people, but, like, on myself, I'm not a good braider. So you go like this, high ponytail, right? Then you're just going to braid it to whatever braid of your choice. I'm just going to do a normal one because I'm not really good at braids on myself but that are like on top of my head. This is literally so easy. Just keep making sure my camera isn't dying because it's almost dead. I didn't realize that. And to make this braid as easy as possible, we're not going to do a tie. We're just going to pull it out a little bit, make it a little bit more chunky. Okay, then all you're going to do is you're going to just wrap it around. Just like we did with the other one. And put another hair tie in. And this is a really hair, tight hair tie because I've never used it before. And voila, this bun is done too. You can also bobby pin this one, but let me just show you it. So that one looks super cute and then you can just pull out some pieces in your hair. Pull it a little bit looser. That is what the other, my third bun looks like, which I think this one's really cute. I definitely need to do this one more often. So this is my third one. Okay, one of my favorite hairstyles of all time is a fishtail braid and not just any fishtail braid it has to be a chunky one because if it's not chunky I think it looks weird what we are going to be doing is getting out this hairstyle because this is the one we're doing anywhere so what you're gonna do is you're gonna gather your hair to wherever your hair is parted up with the most hair if it's in the middle then it doesn't matter but you want it to go over to the side with the most hair just makes it a lot easier so just do it like that this video is getting quite long, so maybe I'll have to split it up. And you can do it like as a ponytail and then do a fishtail braid, but really it's awesome to just like practice doing it without. Um, you can start off practicing it with because it makes it easier, but I think it looks so much better without it. So you might need to practice. The only way I figure this out is we were going to the movies a lot over the summer, and I just practiced this inside of the movie theater it was dark so I didn't have a mirror which kind of made it harder but it was definitely challenging which was fun and I figured it out on my own basically like my sister helped me a little bit so I'm gonna do what Aspen does every once in a while and just put big chunks in just cuz sometimes you have to like keep up with the braid and if you do it you'll kind of know what I'm talking about like it kind of just starts to lag behind um, so we're just going to fishtail braid this, and this is the second time, third time I fishtail braided my hair this week, or today, not week, today. So we are just going to do this. Oh, 
we're almost done with this and my hair since it's like newly washed this doesn't look as good as it would if it was dirty just because when it's dirty it like sticks to itself you know if you know what I'm talking about so when your hair is dirty this is definitely an awesome hairstyle to do so then we're just gonna take this braid and just pull it apart you gotta be careful but you have to pull firmly but carefully so you're gonna want to pull it all out and make it big and chunky. I've been told I look like Elsa when my hair is like this, especially when I wear my turquoise dress to church. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to take your picture. It's really weird. Um, but just pull it out and make it as chunky as you would like. I like mine actually really chunky, but it's really hard to do when your hair is like clean. I don't like the look of it as much, if you know what I mean. But the bigger the better for me, really. I love this hairstyle. Definitely like my favorite go-to hairstyle. Then this is what it looks like when I'm done. I just pull out some pieces and voila, it looks super cute and so easy. It's ridiculous. So if you guys don't know how to fishtail braid, definitely just look it up. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. But if you couldn't just by like watching me do it. So easy, so simple. So definitely it's a go-to. You have to figure it out. Now I have one more hairstyle for you guys that is kind of like two, but kind of like one at the same time. So we're just going to go with it. But it is half up, half down, which makes your hair look really cute. Um, hold on. And I did bring a brush in here with me, which is really idiotic because I am filming a hair tutorial. So I'm going to make this go closer so that I can see my hair and then I'm going to get a little clear elastic and I am just going to put that in my hair and it just gets your hair out of the way but this isn't a bomb because I don't have a brush but you get it like you just it gets out of your face and then also if you do braids like halfway down or all the way down it also makes your hair cute so definitely try those too because they're super fun and they get your hair out of your face for school, which is always what you want. Because trying to do work with hair in your face is just so not fun. So those are just some of my ways to do your hair for school. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will try to link everything down below, like tutorials on how to do some hairstyles. So definitely go check them out. And I hope you guys like it. Leave below what one was your favorite. I think my favorite is either like all three buns I just love buns I think they're so fun so definitely leave comments below and I will talk to you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye